Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about baldness and dating and how dating has changed for me since I've gotten alopecia and gone bald. I went bald when I was 15, so I do remember having hair and the experience of people wanting to go out with me when I had hair and then I remember like awkward transition stage if I was sick and I really didn't talk to anyone and then when I was like, oh, I'm better, I'm ready to date again and it was different. I was like, this didn't happen before, and I didn't really know how to react. I will say, since I lost my hair, I haven't ever tried to hide it. There was like a month where I covered my head a lot, but like, I didn't wear hair 24-7, or like, never take the wig off. I was always like, someday Ryan would have a hat, hair, and then bald, and I will, I'll just flip, and so it's not consistent for me. And I think people around me get used to that. But when I first meet people with or without hair, I'm like, is it super weird for them if I come ar back around and I'm like, suddenly bald or suddenly have hair? So with dating, I will say I've thought about this a lot. If it would improve my perspective dating people, if I wore hair all the time versus if I just own it being bald and I you can't own it with hair and without but it definitely people do react differently when I wear my wigs I think it makes them more comfortable than when I'm bald so there's that to think about with alopecia and dating I think you have to decide if you're gonna just like own it and do whatever you want wear a wig not wear a wig or if you're gonna come and like hey, I want you to get to know me before I'm comfortable with this and then show them later. I have never done that. It's always been, I'm bald and then they get to know me and then we go on dates and then I randomly wear wigs. Or one time a guy asked me out on a date when I had hair and then later I showed up without and I think he was like, oh, whoa, but he took it with grace. And I was like, you know what? You handled that very well for me springing on you on our second time really chatting and going on this date so yeah I've always wondered what would happen if I were to make like a tinder or whatever account and make one with hair and without and see how the different people react I don't have time to do that now but I feel like that will be something I do in the future just to like just because I want to know and people are like being bald is probably a great way to weed out all the bad ones and really I don't think it's weeded out anyone I feel like if you're ballsy enough to ask me out because I'm bald, then good for you, but I don't think it says much about who a person is, really. If they, yeah, I don't think it weeds them out, ladies, not in the long run. And speaking of ladies, I will say since I've been bald, I've been hit on by a lot of women, and that never happened before when I had hair, so I don't know why that changed, but... That's just a fun thing that happens. I'm always flattered. I'm like, thank you, but I'm sorry. I like boys. So, yeah, dating, you have to pick. And it's not even that you have to pick. And it shouldn't matter whether you, whether you have hair or not, but it. we can say it shouldn't matter, it shouldn't matter, but, like, the fact is it bothers some people, and you're going to have to deal with that. But be comfortable with you and your dating, and just my recommendation is own it. I have fun with or without hair and I let them get to know me and if we want to date we'll date and that's pretty much how I break it down it doesn't feel weird beyond that like the initial meeting and them realizing but once I get over that I don't feel like I'm hiding anything because I hate I hate feeling like I'm deceiving people or like catfishing them like ha sucker this is not what you ordered but this is what I am so I don't know it shouldn't matter. Own your baldness and have fun. There are so many people out there in the world that are gonna think you are amazing with or without hair. So, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any recommendations. But yeah, good luck ladies and gents.